All right, this review is for the Grinch Airblown Inflatable, four foot tall. Um, it looks like 65th anniversary. It says now, I think there's a new cartoon, a new ish cartoon out there right now. I think that's what this is model after. I'm not too familiar with that cartoon, to be honest. But, you know, it's a Grinch, and we, we, we love the Grinch here at the Holiday House, so we had to get this one. It looks nice and cute. We got it from Home Depot in 2022. You see here, it's indeed a Jemmy, copyrighted 2022. It's not sold under the Home Depot brand because, you know, the Grinch is a copyrighted character, so they can't, you know, I'm assuming they can't just sell it under their brand for that reason. So, in any case, here are the stakes it comes with. And like I always say, I'm not a huge fan of these small metal stakes. I don't think they work too well. But also, there's uh, nothing to do about it when you get these small ones. Go ahead and plug it in there. I'll before I plug it in. Let's look at the motor. That's a pretty good sized motor for just a, what did I say? It's four feet tall, right? Pretty good sized motor for that. Like that, but like I always say about Jimmy, they they tend to give a good sized motor for what's needed for the inflatable. And that's not a bad thing. Give it a chance to blow up here. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. It's nice and cute. Now I gotta tell, oops, sorry. I can tell right now, typically when you have these characters, a giant, how to go say, <laughs> when they have a giant head like this compared to their body, they don't tend to stand up too well. And this is, I had a feeling this would be no exception. This feet kind of look weird. It has stand, these, a lot of these ones, small ones have sandbags in it. It's like it's kind of stuck in there or something. I mean, whatever, it's not, it's not in the feet like it should be there. It's a little better. But yeah, when they have giant heads like this, they tend not to, giant heads compared to their body. They tend not to stand too well. Let's see the, uh, are, are the arms not blowing up? Oh, it's twisted. It looks like it's twisted. Or maybe it's just, maybe no air is supposed to get in there because the other one looks like air is getting to it. I think here it's just twisted. I think if I, I'm not sure much I could do about that. It's, I'd have to take the, if it's twisted there. I'll just, I'll deal with it later. It's just, I'm not sure if I got untwisted, the arm would, uh, there we go, it's kind of getting there already. There you, see, there you go. There you go. Okay, it was just twisted. So yeah, the arm blew up. At first, it looked like the arm didn't blow up. It was just just like a string, basically. I'm not a fan. The fingers don't blow up. Yeah, the fingers definitely not going to air to them. That's kind of disappointing, but not that big of a deal. I got to say about the... Actually, now that I got the sandbags where it's supposed to be, not too bad. It's not great, but again, when you stake it down properly, it should be much better. If nothing else, you know, get a garden stake. It'll stand just fine with that. I like the hair. The crazy hair is crazy. But that uh, looks good. Um, so it's cute. Yeah, I like that. He's holding it, you know, a little present there. It's kind of nice that he has like a little uh, uh, sly grin on his face there. It's kind of cute there. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off. Okay. Oh, this one actually has two. I was about to say, one bulb really lighting up, but... Actually, has two balls, one in his head, so they typically put it in the bottom of the head. But they also put one in the present. Well, that's nice, that really lights up the whole thing really nicely, I think. That, that you, you can definitely see his, his face lights up really well, the present lights up really well, it looks good. The light, they, really, they, they did a really good job lighting this one up. And, uh, turn the lights back on. Yeah. I think this is a cute one. I really do like this one. Like I said, we, we love the Grinch here. This is a nice one. Pretty sure it's from the you know, more recent cartoon. Not too familiar with it, but it looks good. It's a, I almost look like a kid Grinch. I don't know if that's what he is in the cartoon. He looks like a kid. Or he just looks like that. Or maybe he's a young Grinch. I don't know, but it's cute. I like it. See the electricity is like... Wow, that's really low. That's good. Not quite as low as the other inflatable I did the other day where it was less than five watts, but it's, it's down there, only fewer than seven watts. That's good. Because the small motor is typically like said between, typically between seven and nine, so that's down to lower than that. And then the two, and then it has two bulbs. Wow, that's pretty good actually, because yeah, that one I did, I don't know, that's pretty good though. <laughs> Anyways, just kind of shocked that it's two bulbs and as few watts as it was. Um, but in any case, yeah, I, I like it. I think it's really nice. It's a nice touch they put on here, the little holly and berries. A, a lot of these Christmas ones come with this basic, like, holly and the, you know, the, I'm assuming there's, like, berries on the holly. I'm not really, I'm assuming, I don't know. But um, nice uh, that uh, kind of present has a little, little uh, you know, wrap it on the bow. 
Well, I'm not kind of disappointed by the fingers, but it's not really that big a deal, I don't think. It lights up really well. Uh, it looks cute. Yeah, I, I, I say if you can find it for a price you're comfortable with, I, I'd say go ahead and go for it. It's really cute and inflatable. It'll look great in your collection. Looks fantastic. So, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about this video. Thank you for watching.